Hey everyone, this is Casey Smith with Straight Six Archery out of Missoula, Montana. When you take up any pursuit, you want to be as proficient as possible. In archery elk hunting, you need to be good enough to send that arrow into the boiler room in the heat of the moment. Here are some basic guidelines to keep in mind as you're striving to beef up your shooting skills. Buy good gear. Invest in the best quality equipment that you can afford. It's frustrating as a pro shop owner to watch people buy gear for a few hundred bucks. When they buy cheap equipment, they come in, it doesn't shoot very well, and they start to think, man, I'm not good at this, I'm not gonna bow hunt anymore. If instead, you came in to get higher end equipment fitted by a professional, you can learn some basics and coach you a little bit, and you can learn which arrows you can get that won't break the bank, but are still gonna be better than the arrows you can buy at Walmart. If you can, you want to spend about $800 to $1,100. If your budget is $500, try to squeeze a couple more hundred dollars out of that, and I think a lot more people would enjoy archery if they had the right equipment. Shoot your bow all year round. Don't wait until late July to pull the bow out of its case. Nobody has the time to get comfortable with their bow, arrows, and broadheads with only 40 days until the season starts. Instead, every week out of the year, go out once and shoot your bow five or six times. Make sure it's on target and everything is still functioning smoothly. You'll have no anxiety as hunting season approaches because you know you're a lethal assassin with your bow. Find a good coach. Everyone has a coach in some areas of their life. If you're not good at shooting a bow and you ask someone who is good at it, say a certified coach, to show you the basics, they're gonna help you get better. If you can't afford professional lessons, find that more skillful friend and ask them for some one-on-one -on -one instruction as a favor. And make sure to fact check your friend. Ask them where they learned how to shoot a bow so you know you're learning from a reliable source. Keep it simple. Archery is a gear infested world. There's so much stuff out there, and it can be tempting to follow the newest gear fads. But before you move on to the latest and greatest release aid, stabilizer, etc., make sure you master the equipment that you already have. You're putting the cart before the horse if you switch to a back tension release before becoming efficient with a trigger release first. Build muscle memory. Archery is about muscle memory. Make sure you set your anchor points to be in the same position every time you shoot your bow. I recommend making a fist holding it to your chest and bring it up behind your ear to the soft spot behind your jawbone. That's where that knuckle goes. Your second anchor point. The angle of the string will automatically go to the corner of your mouth. So bring your face over until the string is contacting that point. For the third anchor point, you will have to lift your head up and over to set the top of your nose onto the string. And your facial structure should never change so you can stay really consistent with those three anchor points. Know when it's time to stop shooting your bow. Your form will start to fall apart as you get tired and you'll form really bad habits. Some people shoot their bow 200 to 300 times and in my professional opinion, that's far too much. Shoot 30 to 40 perfectly executed arrows with perfect form and then put the bow away. In my professional opinion, these are the guidelines that I follow that have worked best for me and I know if you follow them too, when September rolls around and there's a big bowl coming in, you can be confident drawn back, setting those anchor points, and executing that perfect shot.